Hi, I'm Sun Jung. I'm a product designer for the GEO and the distribution team. Today, I would like to walk you through the user experience of upgrading Gizak Omnibus. To specify this task, when system administrator notice that the GitLab instance is outdated, they want to update to the latest version so that they can enjoy the new features and also enjoy the very stable GitLab experience. So this is the overview of Sydney's journey. So if I can just move to this mural board, there were two different steps in general. The first step was to check the version and the general flow after checking the version was to come back to the update landing page and figure out like which is the right package to choose. And then they are working on the command line interface. And there were two different ways of doing this. So when there is a minor ver version update or patch update, there would be just one or two step on the command line. But if they would like to update to the major version upgrade, then they need to do some tweak. So this was the overview of the journey and I'll dive into the details. So as you saw already in this mural board, I put it like a big or or. So there are actually three possible ways to check the version. Two were possible on the UI and the other thing was doable on the command line interface. So just for curiosity, I tried to Google online like GitLab upgrade or GitLab update and I found a very popular post in Stack Overflow, which was asked like six years ago and still active like a month ago. And there were a lot of views and seems like they kind of want to check this version on this page. It is under the top navigation and the first level menu is like health. So I think maybe it's easier to show you this. So this is my test instance and they like to check the version here in the help. And I think for, okay, so this is the latest version. So there is no label at the moment, but if this is like outdated version, then I can see some label like yellow, like update available, or I need to update like ASAP. So if I come back to the DAC, so there way to check the version. So I couldn't capture the major upgrading journey, but I could capture the minor version update. And it was on my GCP VM and it was just a really minor, I think it was a patch update and it took me like around four minutes, but I think around one minute it's just like exploring the UI and check the update landing page and starting from the backup. And then I moved to updating GitLab. So if you see this video, like there's something happening and then it's unpacking the package. And then it was done. I was so happy to see this logo because <laughs> it's successfully done. Major version update. I found some problem while doing some major version upgrade. The thing is like, it was really probably not easy for user if they haven't updated the GitLab instance for a while because they may not notice like, is this a really major version upgrade or if this is just a minor version update? I think what they can notice is after they run through some CLI and then run the command line like upgrade GitLab, and then they notice that, okay, it, this includes some major version upgrading. 
and I found a couple of questions from GitLab forum also because it seems like user was a bit confused. It's actually more than 50 results and then they didn't understand like because we don't show this information on the UI and also on the CLI so they might be confused. It was understandable. And another sneak peek was I think we're using two different terminology sometimes because on our landing page, so for example here, it's about update GitLab. Every information could be found here. And we're using update GitLab for version update. But what I could notice is like, we are using the terminology of upgrading things on the CE to EE changes. So it might be a bit confusing for user because if they successfully run the comment and then update it or upgraded it, and then they'll see like upgrade completes is a bit problematic when they need to check the documentation or they need to explore this about .gillab.com and what should they do? Like, do they need to search for like update GitLab or upgrade GitLab? So I think it's better to take a look and by creating an issue and maybe we can start a discussion that how can we make this more in a consistent way. So in conclusion, based upon our grading rubric system, I consider this experience as C+, which includes some unnecessary steps with average complexity. I think this was because of the major upgrade not about the minor version update. The approximate upgrading time for Omnibus was around four minutes, which was quite nice. But I think it's still difficult to understand like how many version I'm actually behind from the latest version. And maybe it's better to give some more guidance for, okay, this is the major version upgrade before they just dive into this upgrading journey. And we should rethink about this terminology like update and upgrade on landing page and on the comment line. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening this talk. Here is the link to the recommendation issue. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any question or feedback.